Was a therapist involved in treating Richard Allen, the man accused of being the Delphi murderer, somehow in violation of ethics laws, in violation of really anything? That's what the defense team of Richard Allen is saying. Dr. Walla is uh, the individual's name that's in question here. According to the defense, Walla exhibited a strong personal interest in the Delphi case, which they argue compromised her ability to provide objective care to Allen. The interest was highlighted during a pretrial hearing when Walla admitted under oath that she was fascinated by the Delphi murders and even before Allen's arrest. She'd also posted some stuff on social media. Um, there's there's a lot of, I guess, questions in a gray area, and, and I, I guess I'm trying to fully understand why the defense has issue with this, um, because I think mental health is going to be a big, play a big role in, in this trial. Um, is, is there concern that she's too into the mental health end of this for the prosecution? Um, or, because uh, I, I could see her really kind of working either way. I mean, unless there's some, you know, hell-bent reason she's she's on the other side. Yeah, I can't help but think that that there may be some merit to this one, but it also might be a bit of a distraction. It might be a bit of a red herring that defense is kind of throwing in there to further create chaos shortly before the trial is, is set to commence. Mm -hmm. Because even if she did have some interest in in what's going on that that sort of thing could be brought up on cross-examination you could try to discredit her mm -hmm. uh but, but to bring it pre-trial like this and to make a big to-do about it uh tells me it might be more tactical than substance why why more chaos do we need more chaos i feel like we have a lot of chaos here i mean to point out that the psychologist was recommending delphi podcasts on facebook I, I, I'm going to look this up because I'm wondering if they recommended ours because um, we have one about that. Um, it's, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't know. I, I, obviously, they're going to be taking a look at, at how she worked with him uh, and what was going on. This is, of course, the, the situation where, you know, she'd be evaluating him in the moments where, you know, he really did lose his mind. He was making all those uh, admittance and taking a bite of poop and then admitting it again, and then taking another bite, and then admitting it again to somebody else. Um, not exactly the person that I'd say is, you know, in the most accurate or best state of mind to be making admissions of guilt in any stretch of the imagination. But a psychologist could explain that. I mean, I don't think they'd be like, totally. When they eat the poo, that means everything's true. That That's going to that's <laughs> gonna be, it's like, if, you, if the glove doesn't fit, you must have quit. If they eat the poo, it's got to be true. They're going to use that. I think that. Freud said that, yeah. They, they did. I did say <laughs> they eat the poo. It's got to be true. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's peculiar, man. To answer to, but to answer your earlier question, some defense attorneys think more chaos, more chaos, more chaos. That 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 um that helps throw the prosecution off their game. Um, it shakes things up. It causes distractions. It causes the the other side to do work that they didn't have to do. So they so they can't focus all their efforts on convicting your dude. Uh, and so not surprised about trying to inject more chaos, but I'm just not sure how much traction they're going to get out of this. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm wondering, too, if it also brings into light, because another point that they were making is that she was using IDOC resources um, for looking up uh, Keegan Klein, uh, a person that um, has not been charged with anything. I don't know if it's even a person of interest, technically. But um, that, you know, some have theorized on other podcasts, not here, uh, may be involved uh, in the crime itself. I mean, I could see it being an opportunity just to get another name in there of what about this? I mean, was this was this the window to do that because they discovered those facts of, of what was being researched? Certainly that piece could be helpful for defense. Yeah. Um, now, why I, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I'm not surprised that um, they're trying to essentially like develop an alternative suspect through this witness, uh, but they can do that at trial, like yeah. uh, pre-trial motions on it. Uh, I'm just not sure they're going to get the outcome they're looking for from, especially from this judge. Yeah. I mean, I, this just, I don't know. It, it feels like the prosecution would want to be objecting to this, not the defense, especially on that note of, of her looking up another possible suspect. And if you're researching the case, you're talking to the guy uh, you're, well, I wonder if there is somebody else involved here. I would think the prosecution would want that shut down as quickly as possible. So you don't have the psychologist involved going, Hey, you were searching other suspects too. Why is that? I would just think it shouldn't be even admitted. 
Yeah, it's it usually from defense. You're trying to suppress evidence. You're yeah. trying to exclude evidence from the trial. Here, you don't want to exclude that. that that's helpful. That's yeah. a potential alternative suspect. And so, what is really their end game with pursuing yeah. this at this time? That that remains a bit of a mystery. But there are countless mysteries in this case. There are. I'm sure there's probably something longer game to this, and I'm sure there's probably some facts that we don't know yet because so much of this has just been so hush hush. Uh, but we're getting closer and closer to the trial date. I'm sure we'll. Get an answer to that, hopefully, very soon. We'll find out. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts, and especially Apple Podcasts, where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruschi, and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching.